Hello everyone, so this is the 16th monthly ownership update video on my Astra. Now as you can see I'm not driving the car at the moment. Uh, today I'm at college and I'm currently on a one hour lunch break, got about half an hour left. So I'm just going to talk you through uh, the car you know, and a few other uh, things that I normally report on. So at the moment the car has 135,627 kilometers on the clock so far. The car is doing well, uh, you know, it's driving great as, as always. Um, just washed it the other day, nice and shining. Couldn't run a vacuum through here at some point today, uh, you know, just needs a little cleaning up in here. Um, as I said, the car is going fine and it's running perfectly. The only thing is, um, as far as I can remember, there's been a knocking noise on the engine for, I don't know, it's been there forever as far as I know. It's just something I only copped on to recently. Anyway, it's uh, something that only happens during cold starts, so it only happens like once uh, in a day, wouldn't, wouldn't never happen twice in a day. Now, it doesn't happen all the time, it's just when you start up the car, there'll be a tapping noise, lasts a couple of seconds, then it's, it's finished. It's just something to do with cold starts as far as it can work out. Now, it doesn't happen every day, as I was saying. Um, I started the car up yesterday and it happened, started up the day before, didn't happen, just ran smoothly but anyway I'm kind of rambling here I managed to get it on camera the other day so um, I'm just gonna play that footage for you now and see what you think so yeah, as you can hear it's kind of a loud enough knocking noise now I should mention it doesn't you know have any effect on the car whatsoever the car still runs and drives absolutely perfectly even with that knocking but as I said it only happens every once in a while so other than that the Astro is running absolutely perfectly you know no complaints at all regarding the car so uh, other things I want to talk about is uh, January has been a very busy month for me as far as reviews go you'll have seen the new Ford Mustang that I just reviewed if you haven't seen it it's in my videos there I reviewed a black 2016 EcoBoost now I was uh, fortunate enough to get to meet the owner of that car and um, the car is still in the showroom because it hadn't been registered at the time but I think a couple of days after I had filmed that the car was registered so I got chatting to the owner who has also ordered a Focus RS and he has you know, given me permission to film that car when it arrives in Ireland in April so his is going to be a nitrous blue, it looks great in nitrous blue I think that's the main colour you guys would have seen on the new RS when you've seen images and videos of it on the internet but it looks great and um, the RS is basically a four wheel drive hardcore version of the ST now I've also reviewed recently the new Golf R, which is the same kind of thing as the Focus RS. It's a pumped up four wheel drive, you know, mad version basically of the Golf GTI. So it has 300 horsepower from the same 2 litre engine as the GTI. But as I said, it's four wheel drive and it's got some very unique styling differences such as, you know, the special blue paint, the four exhaust tips, different wheels. Um, I believe it has a different front bumper as well. It has silver mirror caps. So I have to get that Golf R onto YouTube soon. Uh, another group of cars I still have to get up. I was already driving the new Kia Optima, so I have to put that up too. I was driving the current generation of the BMW 3 Series, uh, specifically it was a 2012 320 diesel luxury that I was driving, which I like very much. So that's the second car I have to get up. Um, next is the Toyota Ventus and the RAV4, the new 2016 models. I've reviewed them. They still have to go up. I've also reviewed the new Mazda MX-5 uh, last weekend. Now, I've done that at McGinley Motors here in Kenny, and uh, Patrick McGinley, the man who uh, runs the dealership, has invited me to come back and come film the test drive, sorry, of the MX-5, but there'll be a salesman on with me for insurance reasons. Now, I did state on one of my older videos that I only allow anybody else in the car with me uh, for two reasons. One, if it's a friend helping me film, or if it's a salesman and he's coming with me in a car, you know, that I'll make an exception for, like some sport or something rare that I wouldn't get many other chances to drive, in which case the MX-5. So I have a salesman riding shotgun with me, so I'm looking forward to that. I also have to film a test drive of the new Ford Mondeo, and I've already driven the new Mondeo, but I didn't film it. I did, however, do a full in-depth review of the Mondeo, so that's another test drive coming up. Uh, the new Kia Sportage, that's out as well. Now, that was just unveiled by Kia a few weeks ago, so it was. I think it was actually less than two weeks ago. Now, um, most of the Kia dealerships in Ireland would have had Sportages in stock, but they couldn't you know, have them properly advertised because the rules are that Kia has to have the car officially unveiled at a motor show, like they did just two weeks ago, and then people can you know drive them and um, you know review them and whatnot. For example, I was at Heron Auto and they had Sportages in. Uh, now they let me out and test drive uh, a brand new Sportage, but I wasn't allowed to film it until the car was officially unveiled. As a matter of fact, I was shown a letter from Kia Ireland saying nobody's allowed to be out driving these Sportages until we have the car unveiled. But now that the car is unveiled, I can go and take one for a test drive this weekend, so I'm looking forward to that. 
Uh, but speaking of the Sportage, I just realized there the other day when I was out here, not just um, how much in demand crossover SUVs like that are. For example, out the um, back of Hernado where the used cars are, let's say the fence starts around here, so it does, right? And there's a whole line of sport hatches from there going all the way to the back of the dealership and every single one of them is sold and they're all customer cars. So that just kind of puts it into perspective of uh, how big the market is for crossover SUVs like that. But um, yeah, I think that's more or less everything I wanted to talk about. There is one more thing. Um, there is a good chance, now nothing's written in stone here, but there is a chance I could be reviewing a Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano at some point in March. Now I can't give too much details away about the owner, you know, for privacy reasons, but I got chat to the owner and they said for me to contact them at the end of February and we'll get something arranged. Now I was chatting with the owner and they looked at my YouTube channel and they spoke with me for a while and seemed relatively interested. Anyway, he didn't just kind of say, no, sorry, not interested. He had took the time out to talk to me and look at my YouTube channel. So the fact that he asked me, it's pretty windy out there today. We've got a storm overhead at the moment. But as I said, he did talk to me and, um, you know, he said for me, you know, contact me at the end of February. He gave me his card. So, uh, you know, there's a good chance I'll have a 599 up, hopefully. As I said, not has been officially confirmed yet. But um, reviewing a Ferrari uh, will make a massive difference to my channel for two main reasons. Uh, the first being just being able to be in a fry or review one is just a privilege and the second one the most important one above all else is it will help get me recognized more amongst other dealerships in ireland for example there's a dealership in dublin called the porsche center and uh, obviously they sell porsche 911s and what have you if i was to go down there now and i didn't have any kind of high-end exotic cars on my channel they might not you know entertain me as much but if i go down there and say well i've actually reviewed a ferrari 599 and they look at my youtube channel they're probably going to think, well, he's obviously the real deal. People are, you know, kind of review their supercars, so maybe we should give him a chance. That's kind of my thinking, so that's why it's very important for me to get just one supercar on my channel, and then that will make, I think, a difference. So if I go to exotic dealerships, they'll say, okay, we'll, we'll let you, you know, try it out and see what we think. You know, it'll help anyway in the long run, so we'll get the supercar up. So everyone, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to sum up in this video. As I said, the app is going great, uh, there's plenty of reviews for me to still upload, and there's much more amazing content coming in the future. I do hope at one point maybe to review the V8 version of the new Mustang, the GT. I've seen a few videos of them on YouTube, and they sound amazing with the 500 V8. So everyone, thanks for watching, see you again next time.